So what's going on for lunch today? Besides All right, I ate lunch, man. It's Eastern time zone. It's the real time zone. It's, it's almost dinner time, brother. Yeah, I've got, I've got two words for you guys that I literally think can change your lives because I, I brought it in last night. I'm having it for leftovers. Korean barbecue. That healthy? Uh, Tria, is Korean barbecue healthy? It can Bone be, depending upon how it's prepared, how much sauce and stuff they put on it. But mm. bone broth and kale, very healthy. Kale? We don't talk about kale in this podcast. Kale. <laughs> Tate's on the call. Kale. I, think no, I, mean, Tate, I agree with Tate. Tate, Tate yeah. ate kale at boot camp. I, no, I did and I regretted no, it. No, I did not. I need to interrupt everybody. But I need to make sure this is loud and clear. I don't do kale. It's a vile weed. I think kale is not meant to be blended. Eat it. Not even goats eat it. I saw two people eating it at boot camp. Yeah, the Harris's. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Korean Landon. That was it. good. Right. It was good. I tried it on day one and I regretted it on day two. Never do kale again. It works mm. fine in smoothies. It works really good in smoothies too. Tate's like, I told you so. Don't eat that. Smoothies. Let that freedom, freedom ring. ring. I want to thank the listeners and remind them that the only way the only I'm going to get these, these guys to show up is if you do us three little favors, it really helps. Follow, rate, review the podcast. Send us a screenshot of that review to support at thelandgeek.com. I'm going to personally send you a signed copy of Dirt Rich, which, Scott Bossman, you would agree, retail value right now on eBay is about $1.45 million in crypto. At least. At least. Okay. So, That's a great podcast. This is a great podcast, but we now have. Yeah. So I would like to give the tip of the week. And this may be more so for my land geekers here on the call with me, but I found an app. It's called Crisp, K R I S P dot A I. Oh, uh, uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Come I on. Know. Rejected. No. Nope. You know, I finish. Maybe someone doesn't know about it. I let her finish. All my background noise. I love it. My dog was barking. No one heard it. Mark could have been clanking his water bottle. No one would have heard it. So it is my tip of the week. But now the, this capability is built right into Zoom. Actually, I can't find it anymore. on Zoom. I, I thought Crisp was going to be the big, you know, when COVID hit, you know, Zoom was the first investment. Missed that. I'm like, oh, it's going to be Crisp. And then, yeah. then Zoom came in and scoffed it up. 2019 oh, wow. called and wants its tips of the weeks back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe that's a Scott Todd tip too. But I figure if, if, mm -hmm. if my tips get better and better, you'll keep asking me to do it. So this is oh. me in reverse. Oh, okay. Hmm. That was a great tip. Thank you. <laughs> well, last but not least, let's go to Scott Todd. <laughs> well, you know what, Mark? I would say you just got to stay focused. That's it. There's lots of ways to get unfocused when you're doing this. And I would just say you just got to stay focused. And it's really just that simple. Stay focused, stop looking at everything shiny and and stop like chasing the next big deal. Mark, you and I did a podcast today where this guy was talking about this thing. You were in love with it. And then I brought out the financial calculator. Did you see the look on the guy's face when I was like, dude, this is only like 16% yield. Is this are you serious with this? Are you serious, Clark? And he was just like, Well, you know, you need to have a diversified uh, portfolio. So you can go chase all these little things that you hear, all these other investments that you hear, and you know what? Don't do it. Stay focused on what, what you want. 
achieve the results, and then you can go chase whatever you want. But stay focused. Uh, yeah, I, I I love it. Tate Litchfield. Yeah, happy to follow the man in the uh, hot pink, I mean, coral no, no, shirt. It's, it's coral. It's coral. Cool. Sure. All right. All right there, Scott. Um, so I would leading, say you're you leading know, me. You're, yeah, you're, you're, you're going before you're going before Scott. Yeah. Play to your strengths, play to your strengths in this line of work, figure out what you're good at and, um, you know, make sure that those become your top priority. And uh, you can do this by by finding good people on your team and, and introducing them to aspects or areas of the business that you consider yourself lacking. Uh, there's a lot of good companies out there that can help you, but uh, nothing beats hiring somebody on your own, training them and introducing them into your business. So play to your strengths, avoid the, you know, the noise, the shiny objects, and honestly, put your nose to the grindstone. It's a pretty simple line of work that we're in, but that doesn't mean that it's going to happen quickly or overnight. It does require a lot of work. So, uh, you know, that, that's what I say. Play to your strengths. All right, Taria, putting in the reps, Harris. Um, I'll say that persistence. So the business kind of fluctuates. You have high highs and sometimes you have what, what we would consider low lows where things may not be working the way you want. I say be persistent in whatever you're doing, even if it doesn't look like it's working. You know, speak with, you know, some of the coaches if you need tips or uh, techniques, but stay persistent. Work hard, be diligent, but stay persistent. I love it. I love it. Eric, the technician Peterson. Yeah, I mean, I really like what Scott and Mike both said before me, but I, I think that, you know, what I would say is, is learn to build systems and hire um, good VAs, right? If, if you don't start building systems, if you don't start hiring these tasks out, you're going to be running this business for the rest of your life. And I don't think that's ultimately why you, you know, found us. So that's what I think. All right. Dude, buddy, the nightcap OG, Scott Bossman. Well, Mark, uh, I would say uh, my advice would be to uh, get comfortable being uncomfortable because I'm a firm believer that the most personal growth uh, or that we experience the most personal growth when you push your limits a little bit and you put yourself in situations that are a little bit uncomfortable. And this happens physically, whether you're becoming stronger, working out more, it happens with a diet, you have to push your boundaries, it happens in business. You need to push your boundaries, push your limits, maybe hang out with some people around the campfire that are a little bit smarter than you and that are maybe a little bit, uh, you know, intimidating, like Mike Zeno. Like, I can't tell you how intimidated I was by Mike Zeno the first time I ever talked to him. But uh, he may be a better, like, land investor. And uh, so get, get comfortable being uncomfortable and learn to take chances. And there's a, there's a video I'd recommend everybody who's uh, starting out in this. It's called, uh, go to YouTube and look up the video Jump by Steve Harvey. It's a good inspirational video uh, for getting into this business or maybe any other venture. I love it. I love it. And to start, I know he loves starting. The Zen master, Mike Zeno. Well, someone on this podcast once said success leaves clues. So I'm going to go with eat a donut every morning and you will be an incredible <laughs> land investor. You will rock it. <laughs> That's not it. All right. That was how I'll go with this one. Deal flow solves everything. I don't know who said that, but it's a pretty good quote. I think that, I think that, you know, if you're worried about all the parts of the business, don't overstress it. Just go through the model, go through the process, step by step, rinse, repeat, and you will flush out all the inefficiencies. So just get some deal flow and, and rinse and repeat. Scott Todd, are you feeling that love? Mike, what is that horse doing behind your head right there? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I feel, I feel the love more. I feel the love. Scott Todd, I, I, I'm going to have him sign this someday. Oh boy. So I, I rare, I rarely like going first, but for this one, for this topic, I thought I would just throw my two cents in before we hear everybody else's answer. Um, 
And that, and that's embrace the suck. This is a simple model, but it's not easy. And you really do have to get comfortable being uncomfortable and be persistent. And, and one of my favorite books, I think to help, you know, make you a little bit tougher with this and kind of get you in that right mindset is uh, grit. And um, I'm having a senior moment. I can't remember the author of grit, but it's, it's a great book. Um, Carol Dweck uh, mindset is also a great one as well. So the question that I wanted to start off with as a topic, because it comes up a lot is what would be your best tip starting out for a new land investor? Anyways. On today's round table, we've got last but not least, you know him, you love him, the brain, the professor. Your flights go Sherpa, Scott Todd from scotttodd.net, landmoto.com, learn anything about anything investorninjas.com. We got teeth. I love it when you call me Big Papa Litchfield. Hey, guys. Eric, the technician. Peterson. Taria, put in the reps, Harris. How are you? Well, how are you, Mark? I'm good. I'm good. Good to see you. The nightcap OG, dude, buddy, Scott Bossman. Scott, how are things? Things are awesome. Keeping warm, cool right now. Uh, it's Alaska. a beautiful, uh, it's a yeah, beautiful summer day here. Uh, kind of hit or miss, not hit or miss in August, but but today's a beautiful day. All right, and then the Zen Master, breathe in the mailing, breathe out the marketing. I'm excited for this podcast, Mike Zano. Yeah, me too. This is going to be wonderful, and I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So for those of you that are confused, this was a Seinfeld-esque podcast in reverse. <laughs> the comments that we've all started chatting about, and let us know in the Mighty Networks group or the Facebook group, was this the worst podcast ever? Is dumpster it a dumpster fire? Fire. Dumpster, dumpster fire. So, or just a complete hot mess. Let us know. But sometimes we have to change it up. And so we did everything in reverse. We tried to. I did forget to plug the Today's Podcast. It's sponsored by Flight School. Learn how the next 16 weeks can transform your life. Start building that passive income quickly, safely, efficiently with Scott Todd as your Flight School Sherpa. The next class is September 29th. He's going to take you up that Mountain quickly, safely, and efficiently. Oh, yeah, that tuition for flight school, nothing, zero, free. It's not going to cost you anything. You know why? Because you're going to make back that money 180 days or less guaranteed. Just show us your work. Learn more. Go to landgeek.com forward slash training. Again, for those of you that are listening to this one for the first time, we just did it in reverse. We just did it in reverse. It was a lot of fun for us. I don't know how it was for the listener. Leave us a comment and let us know. All right. Thanks, everybody. Oh, Scott, go ahead. How many people did we just lose? How many subscribers? Yeah. Or I should say subscribers. <laughs> how many followers? Right. Yeah. Let us know in the comment if you're like, okay, that's it. We're done. I, I, how do I say auto passive income podcast backwards? Podcast income passive of art of art. <laughs> oh man, that's a great way to just, end. I think we should just stop. This hole's getting deep, <laughs> really, really deep. I think uh, if we did it, like if you just listen to it in reverse. Was it like some kind of Beatles album? Like if you if you played it backwards, you would hear something, mm. like the White Album or something. Satan. Was it like you would hear you would hear like something like that. Wasn't that like the 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 lore? 
if you play this 2x speed backwards, you'll, you'll hear a special Tate Litchfield marketing tip. It's in there for sure. Um, all right. Wait, wait, we do this part. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Art of Passive Income podcast. Start your journey at www.thelandgeek.com and www.scotttodd.net. Read and review the podcast and email support at thelandgeek.com. Your screenshot for a free passive income launch kit.